Okay, now you're in for a real treat because Maria is going to make the pinchi as they do here in Mantocino. And so, cominciamo con la farina. Sì, si, con due tipi di farina, di grano tenero e di grano duro. Okay, so she's going to use two kinds of flour, grano duro, which is semolina, very hard wheat flour, and also a softer white flour. So she's going to mix the two. Allora. Poi, Aggiungiamo un uovo. She's going to use one egg. Un pochino di sale. Sale fine. Sì. She's using a little bit of salt. Un sale fine, fine un salt. Un goccio di olio. And just a little nutful of olive oil, extra virgine. Extra virgine. Okay. E un bicchiere di acqua. And a little bit of water. And now she's going to mix all of this up until she has her dough. E non c'è una ricetta per questo, solo alla memoria, sì? Sì. E sulle mani, sì? E sulle sì. mani. All right, so you know when people ask for a pasta recipe, really there is none because you have to do this by trial and error. It's all in the hands and of course it's, it's all in your head as well. So she'll know exactly when she has enough water to make a dough that isn't going to be sticky but is hard enough for her to be able to form the pinchi. E non si usa le mani? Si, fa si un po'. dopo, dopo. Quando si. è un po' più solido. Okay, I asked her when she's going to use her hands and she says when she has more of a solid mass here. It's a little too soupy for her to put her hands in uh, right now and she'll get it all mixed up and si usa tutta questa farina. No. no, she's not going to use all that flour. When she thinks she has enough flour, she'll stop and that will be her a ball of dough. Allora. E quanto tempo ci vuole per fare la pasta? Cinque minuti Cinque per lei. Minuti, sì. See, for her it's five minutes. For you, if this is the first time that you've made pasta, it might take you a little bit longer, but you see how easy it is. And she keeps it all under control by keeping it in this container. I asked her why she didn't put it on the board, make the fontana the way we normally see it done. And the reason she doesn't is because she needs to keep the board clean so she can form the pinchi. Allora, è morbido. Si, è si, si. Morbido. morbido. It's very soft, so she still doesn't want to take it out until she has just the right amount of flour. Now, the, this, the pasta we're going to form reminds me a lot of shoelaces. It kind of has the thickness of shoelaces. Okay, now. Bellissima. Ancora un po' di un farina. Un po' di farina. Okay, now we're at the rolling stage with the materello. Materello. Si. Basta. Basta. Ah, see how thick that is? It's a little thicker than what we're normally used to. And now she uses a knife to cut it. And now she rolls it under her hand to thin it out. And you see it, it looks, it almost looks like a shoelace. And you notice as she's doing this, she has a bed of grano turco, gran turco there, which is cornmeal. And that's to help when she rolls this up or coils it so that it doesn't all stick to itself. Ah, ci vuole molto tempo per questo. Eh, ci vuole, sì, ci vuole molto, molto tempo. tempo. Si mette un po' di gran turco. Sì. Si. And she winds it around her hand. Ah, 
Allora, now we have, you see how the pinchi are made. She's got a little bit of salt and oil in the water. Perché si usa olio? Per farli staccare meglio. Ah, see there's something now that I never would do, but this is good, I'm glad, I'm glad to learn this. So she puts a little bit of oil in the water and that helps to prevent that, the pinchi from sticking. Okay, now look at that. Look at how beautiful those are. Less than five minutes, and they are ready. And you see, they remind me just of long shoelaces. They're so beautiful. And they're a chewy pasta. Now, she cooked those al dente. Sempre al dente. Okay, you heard it here. Again, sempre al dente. And now, la salsa. Si, grazie. Si metta sopra. That beautiful sauce that we made with bread. Look at this. This is economico, si, la salsa o economica, si, si. si. Molto. Molto. This is a very simple, very inexpensive way to dress pasta, and you're being treated to a really wonderful traditional dish, pinchi, made oh, here in Montalcino. Oh, so you'll be able to do this in your own kitchen. And now she puts on pomodorini, Adadini in little small pieces and un po di basilico fresco sopra. Signora, ho molto fame e lei è una maestra.